But I want you to appreciate this aspect of preparation. See, and I have been in industry for almost 21 years of teaching and my own preparation for four or five years. So that's good to 25, 26 years in UPSC career. That's quarter of a century, a long time, I believe. In this entire span, what I noticed is questions have changed, the syllabus has changed, the type of reading material required has changed, the explosion of issues around us, awareness has shot through the roof. In terms of time has not changed. Back then when I was studying, then also GS was okay, one year approximately, now also one year. Back then geography used to take about three and a half, four months. Now it takes maybe five months. Okay. The course in terms of the time has not changed. And then also the classes were two, two and a half hours on average every day. The same thing you guys are doing more or less. The problem is the teaching pedagogy, the approach, the teaching methods, the teaching, uh, you can scope. Well, that has not changed. The questions have changed dramatically. Uh, uh, think of a question like this. Okay, One question is, I am giving a general question. I am assuming you all know this. Okay, What are the prospects of solar energy in India? Discuss its pros and cons. Another question. Discuss solar energy as a game changer in India's energy security. And how of major support for small marginal farmers. I hope, did you get the question all of you? One question is, what is solar energy? Prospects. And pros and cons, uh, how is it, uh, you know, uh, helping us, how not helping us? Okay. And the second one is, I'm asked something else. I've asked you about, tell me how is it a game changer in terms of in India's energy security? And then I'm asking you, tell us if this can be a major support for small marginal farmers and how. And realize the difference of the content here required. Typically in class, a teacher teaching and even you studying, if I ask you, tell me five things I teach in solar energy. Most of you will tell me, tell us what is solar energy? What are the technology? What are the prospects? What are problems? What are solutions? Most will say, sir, you want to structure. And we teach that. But the questions have gone to next level. Okay. So, while I cannot afford not to teach, the base content, but the base content is not enough anymore. Yesterday I took a class, okay? And I'll show you some questions also on those. Uh, the question was on, uh, give us your opinion on, is India doing enough to manage energy-based energy geopolitical challenges? Okay, for India's economic growth. Is India doing enough to manage energy-based geopolitical okay, issue challenges for India's economic growth? You realize where the question level is? I'm asking your opinion. What is India doing? A, B, C, D. Tell us, is that helping India in terms of energy geopolitics? I won't even ask you in terms of energy security. But when I'm in the class teaching you guys, I will teach you from where India gets oil, gas, what are the problems, what we have done recently, and that's all. But this question is at a different level. So you must appreciate that in your preparation, now at least, last three, four years, your preparation has to go through some stages. Like, you know, crawl, walk, and run, and fly. Stages here. Earlier, the base content used to be enough. The base content taught in 8, 9, 10 months was enough. 
the questions have dramatically after 2017 18 and the change had started from 2014 onwards so so i am talking about 